Hey guys, it's Yvette, and I am seriously just back from QuiltCon. <laughs> and I knew that the first thing that you guys were going to want to see is everything I bought. So, um, I, I tried to like keep things a little organized, um, but I've, I mean, seriously, I've literally just pulled everything out of the suitcase and dropped it right here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna willy nilly, um, whatever comes to mind or is in my line of sight first is the first thing I'm going to open. Um, so, um, what I wanted to let you know is that I am going to make some kind of a blog post with all the quilts. Well, I say all, but literally, guys, I took a lot of pictures of the quilts that were displayed at QuiltCon. And I don't know if it's going to be entirely possible. I, I, in fact, I know it's, it's going to be impossible for me to post everything. So what I'm going to do is the things that and I hate to, I hate to put it this way, but everything's very subjective. So you won't see every single thing, but everything that really caught my eye and drew me in, um, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I post all of those. There are a lot of pictures, guys. I have a lot of pictures. I mean, I spent the whole first day taking pictures of the quilts that were there. Um, and then I had to go back later and take another walk through not with a camera, just being able to really take in all the quilts. So um, I did do that. So that said, let's get started. I do have a big coffee, so I'm good. Um, travel to Austin was as good as can be expected. Definitely not uh, terrible. I thought that it went pretty smooth. Uh, coming back home today, it's Monday, um, was a, a bit more rough. There seemed, it seems like everybody travels on Monday. See, I didn't know this. I was thinking, you know, I'll do Monday instead of Sunday and save myself some headache. Well, that didn't happen. It was, I mean, it was a nightmare, like, in the morning. But, listen, I got on all my flights all the flights were on time. I didn't get kicked off a plane, you know, because somebody was late and all that. So none of that stuff happened. It was just very, very hectic t today. Um, so uh, there was that. There was no time for anything. Coffee, food, nothing. So, I mean, <laughs> until I got home, I pretty much ate a pack of pretzels and a package of cookies. And I had a Diet Dr. Pepper. And somewhere in the middle of all that, I did get one Starbucks. If you guys knew how much. I mean, I, I don't think I drink a ton of coffee, but I definitely drink more than one. Okay, so let's just leave it at that. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to open this first. This little bag here. Um, and that's my receipt. So, this place is called Sawyer Creek Artistry. Um, Rich Wolpert is the wood turner. And here is their card. You can go ahead and pause the video if you would like to um, take this information down. He, does, he doesn't sell things online, um, but if you give him a call, he will help you. In some way, he asked me to tell you that. So I will um, take his card, remember Yvette, <laughs> and put the information down below in the description box so that you could see that. Um, but anyways, what I bought from them is this lovely, I hope you, you're going to be able to see um, how lovely this is. It is hand carved. One side has a stiletto. And it goes conveniently right back in here. And the other side is a seam ripper. Um, this sold for $30. And if you need a replacement of either side, uh, you just give them a call and the replacement is $5. You don't have to buy a whole new thing. And then while I was there, I figured I would just buy this little um, wooden 
thing. I mean, Jim could have made it for me. I know that. But, you know, he hand makes these as well. Um, this was $5. And you can just set your um, stiletto st slash seam ripper right there. And it's got a convenient little place to rest. Um, so I really enjoy this. So I got this whole set for $35. Okay. Uh, again, that was Sawyer Creek artistry okay that's the first thing i got well it wasn't the first thing that's the first thing i see okay i, I don't have to explain i know I, i'm just i have yeah i had a crazy day okay next thing uh i got or the next thing i see that i purchased was um i went to connecting threads and i did connecting threads on sunday so by the time, and that was yesterday. So by the time yesterday rolled around, people were like, they were like having sales and stuff. So if things that were, uh, that they still had that, you know, might as well try to sell it instead of taking it back with you. So the thread was um, on, was discounted. So I got the Ocean Voyage blue threads. And I also got the Rosy Glow pink threads and you never know what I'm gonna do with those peeps you never know <laughs> and while I was there I also got I'm gonna take it out of the plastic um, I got these snips um, because I had a pair like this but I don't know what happened to them and if you see it's got like the curved um, and it also had like a a little protective cover because they're very sharp so you can put the cover on and then when you're using them I just love how they're curved so whenever you're trying to get really close to something but not you know they just come in real handy and I really liked that so um and there was something else I got I got these because y'all know that I collect the pins so this one says stash on And this one, I just really liked this one. With all the colors and everything, I really loved that. That was pretty. Um, okay, so that's what I got from Connecting Threads. I'm going to try to remember, like, where I got everything and, what, you know, all that stuff. Um, okay, I got this and this. Okay, hold up. I got a pattern at this one. that's not it this one okay so yeah I think this is it okay so I stopped in Victoria Finley Wolf and I'm gonna post a picture of us pictures of us together because I y'all know me I'm like a kook um but I really wanted this pattern of hers it's super simple to make um, but look at how it looks like it's so difficult, right? Um, but it's just the way everything gets cut and it's called strong ties. Um, and she had one up there. If you guys saw my Instagram stories, I had one story that I did right in front of that quilt. And she is, as far as I know, I didn't see anyone else. Um, she is the only one who had a great big sign up that said, yes, please take all the photos you want and tag me and VFW quilts. I think that's what it was. I think it was um, at um, Victoria Finley Wolf. I think it was at Victoria Finley Wolf. This is all Instagram. And then hashtag VFW quilts. I'm pretty sure that was correct. Um, Anyway, I had to get that pattern. And then I also got these um, Mostly Manor um, Orphil threads. And I, Orphil is my fave thread. It's my fave. Um, and I don't know, like a close second would probably be like Sulky. I love Sulky thread. Um, very pretty you can't I don't know if you can tell but like these two over here are variegated but this one is like the two colors in the thread are so close but like just enough difference to I don't know it's it's really pretty and um also it says 35 but she had them like on sale too I think she did because that was also a Sunday purchase 
So I got that. And then I also got a little bundle of seven fat quarters from her. Um, these are like her typical colors. And I really like them. Very, very, I love it. I love this little package and I had to get that. Um, okay, so that's what I got at Victoria Finley Wolf. And okay, am I going to remember? Honey Bee. I'm only remembering because it's right on here. Okay, so I did make an Instagram story about this. So when I was passing, and this was the first day that I went to through uh, vendors, and there was um, this little shop called Honey Bee, and they were handing out these free, uh, like mini, mini quilt patterns. And you guys, you can't tell by looking at this picture, but it's adorable. It's really small. It's, um, let me see if it says on here what the finished size is. Is it 9 inch by 12 inch? Yes, 9 inch by 12 inch. And so you just need some um, mini charms um, and basically just mini charms, a fat eighth of some contrast, and then you're backing, right? Or you can use it as part of like a bag or a pillow if you want to like you could add more you can you know you can make it a little bigger if you want to because it's not even going to take um well you might end up taking up taking the whole oh i see from the background you need one mini charm pack or 36 assorted two and a half inch squares Okay, so anyway, I see this adorable little quilt. They have it made. It's like 9 inch by 12 inch. It's little. It's cute. And you just need like a mini charm pack. Well, its companion is hanging on the wall as a, what size was this quilt? 48 by 64 inch. And um, they did not... Conveniently for them, they did not sell any mini charm packs. They only sold a package like this of all of the fabrics and um, and everything to make the larger quilt, which it's the same thing. This is the Waverly and this is the Lil Waverly. See how they do that? And so, you guys, I fell in love with this fabric. It's adorable. It's got all these little otters. It's they are otters, right? Yeah, look at, they're all these little otters. And let me pull it out. I'll um, I'll pull each one out so y'all can see. Because I know y'all want to see. Um, okay, so here are the cute little otters. And apparently this, this particular print is like selling out everywhere. Um, so I was like, well... And of course they tell you that and you're like, well, I got to get it now. <laughs> Where do I put my credit card? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Look how cute this is. Do I have it the right way? Yeah. Isn't that adorable? I just, you guys totally fell in love with this. I just totally fell in love. I just love how it looks. Okay, and then there's um, this one with the stars. And I can feel that this one has a selvage. Let me see if it has the name of the... Okay, and it's Art Gallery Fabrics. And it's called Pine Lullaby Rediscovered. Pine Lullaby Rediscovered. And they don't all have the part of the selvage. I'm just trying to make sure they're all from the same fabric line, but I think they are. I think they really, this is a collection. Um, and like I said, I have just gotten home, so I haven't been able to look up any of this stuff. But Pine Lullaby Rediscovered um, Art Gallery Fabric Studio. So their studio has put this these uh, prints out. Okay. So that's three of them. Here's the next one. Isn't that pretty? And you guys, Art Gallery Fabrics. If you have not 
purchased any art gallery fabrics, you need to at least go, you got to at least touch them. I'm not even kidding. You got to touch them. They are just so soft. <laughs> I love them. Um, okay. And then here is the next little guys. And let me make sure this one, cause this one has a piece on it. Yep. Same thing. So it must all be in the same line. And there's that one. So cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just love them. Okay. Um, and this one has like that little pop of color. I love it. Like everything else, black and white. And then it's like a little pop of color. I love it. I love it. Look at this guy. It's beautiful. I just love, I love them. And here's the next one. This one has a little pop of color in it too. And this one has pop of color. Jelly bean, what are you doing, sweetheart? Jelly beans coming to test everything out. <laughs> and here's the last fat quarter. And then here's the background fabric. It's this um, really nice green. Jelly Bean, how did you already get a piece of fur on here? Really? You've been here for three seconds, buddy. Um, and it's the same, it's one of the same colors that's in the color pop in the fat quarters. So that's really lovely. Um, okay, so let me keep these all together. I'm just going to scooch them. Okay. Um, I got these two. And I need to, oh, hold on, hold off on these because I got something that goes with it and it's in the pile. Um, what's this? Oh, I'm going to hold off on this. Um, okay, I got this. I'm just going to pull it out. And I'll be quite honest with you, I feel really bad about this, but I do not remember where I got it. I picked it up by itself. Um, they had a bunch of little fat quarters all folded like this. And it's, you know, a little piece of fabric with words. And I really liked it. I thought it was really very unique, really. To me, anyway, I don't have anything like this in my collection. So I picked up this somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry if it was from you. Um, okay, so the next thing, I have these already over here, but <laughs> these are all the little buttons that I had you guys vote on on my Instagram stories. Not on them individually, but I was like, should I buy these buttons? And y'all were like, yeah. <laughs> so I got that one. I'm not gonna say that one each time. I'm just gonna hold them up. Cause I would sit there and say that one a hundred times. Y'all know me. Steve, buddy, you like him? He's not like a normal cat, huh? You no, know, he's a little flat, mom. And this is the last little button. And then in that same shop, 
which is called, because I have their card right here, it's called Turtle Hand, and these things are crafted in Malaysia. And there is their card. And they also have um, batiks that they sell, and it's all the same. Uh, Tina Hilton is the owner of the shop. And I'll give you all this information if you want to go and check out her stuff. Um, and this is, she showed me this panel and I just had to get one. Isn't it cute? And it's hand dyed. I'm pretty sure they said it's hand dyed. I mean, they must be. I don't know, but it's gorgeous. And I just loved her. <laughs> so I had to get her. Um, okay, so that's what I got there. And, uh, okay, now I also went to, um, I stopped by the Allison Glass booth and I bought, and I'm not going to, you guys, I can't, this would take me like an hour to go through and show you, but this is the Allison Glass Andover 100th Anniversary 5 Inch 5 Inch Charm Set. And if you like Alice in Glass, you're going to flip over. They had like three different kinds of packages. So I had to like pick just one because they it was, I couldn't afford all of them. Because I forget what this was. I think this one right here was like um, $35 or something. I can't afford $35 three times. I had already bought so much stuff. <laughs> But it's basically a nice collection of Allison Glass, her lovely, bright colors, which I love. <laughs> okay, so I got that. I put it in here because it's like, um, you know, I had to pack it in my in my luggage, and there was I didn't want to have this stuff all over my luggage, so I put it in a little plastic bag, and I also got. Y'all, he's been, he's been like stuck to me like glue since I got home. It, I, and I missed him too. It's, oh, my little sweetheart. I love you, my sweetheart. Mommy missed you so much. Okay. So I picked up, you guys, I just, I fell in love with this quilt. I fell in love with this quilt. Look how gorgeous that is. It's gorgeous. And, I, you know, I'll have to just see what I can do to do it justice. I don't know. It's gorgeous, though. I had to get that one. And then I bought the whole mini series. <laughs> Jelly Bean. <laughs> um, between Alice in Glass and Juicy Juice. We gonna, well, are we just going to let you sit there and preen for everybody? You're like right in front of the camera, baby. You are. Everybody missed you, though, I bet. Mommy missed you. Yeah. Sure, my boo-boo. My little sweetheart. It's my little honey bunches of oatmeal. Okay, so <laughs> there are eight in the series. <laughs> and I'll try to show them to you around Jelly Bean. Here's the first one. I oh, see it's going, it's going to be too close. You can still see it. There you go. Um, so that's the first one. These are all paper pieced. You guys know I love foundation paper piecing. And here is the second one. Um, hold up. This first one, this is called Hexagon Step. And this one is called Courthouse Step. This one is Criss Cross. And I think all of them measure about... Oh, they give you the tiny blocks in a range of sizes. I think you can go all the way down to four inches or up to 12. I think that's correct. Uh, I think you have to look inside to, to see it, though. Um, this one is the pineapple. That one's really pretty. This one is triangle geese. This one is the Curved Cabin. The 
This one is the Stretch Geese. You can always make a whole bunch of these and make like one big mini quilt uh, and a log cabin. Okay, so I got all of those. And then I got two enamel pins. Um, one of them is a horseshoe. And the other one is like a little flower, little rainbow flower. Love it. Okay, so that's what I got at Allison Glass. And let's see. Then I got, what was this? Oh, this lady had like some, I'm gonna have to go and check out her stuff. Robin Ruth Design. She has rulers, books, and patterns for strip pieced mariner's compass. Um, and it looked really cool. Um, I just, oh, I don't want to get started on like something new because I, I, I already had like a full suitcase, <laughs> um, but it looked really cool. So I will also just put her information down below if you want to go and just check out the stuff that she had. It looked really cool, guys. So if you're interested in the Mariner's Compass, she um, has these rulers that simplify it a bit. So um, I definitely need to look more into that as well. Um, okay. And I got this pattern at Crimson Tate. Jelly Bean, for goodness sakes, buddy. <laughs> I do love you, but nobody can see what I got. So I got that at Crimson Tate. And the really cool thing was, oh, I don't have them here. Poop. Um, they, I was wearing my Jelly Bean baby. I was wearing my unicorn ears that day, and they had a pencil that said, something about unicorns and so the the lady who was like ringing everybody up she's like oh i've got to find this for you she bent down and like went through all the pencils and found it and pulled it up she goes you have to have this pencil and i was like oh that's so sweet of you it was really cute um okay let's see what's next where did i get this oh this was at Honey Bee too i just found this little fat quarter and i really liked it so this is <laughs> this is Honey Bee where I got that uh, art gallery fabric quilt uh, fabric art gallery fabric with the quilt pattern with the the big one and then the mini one the Waverly yeah okay so that's what that was um, and then I think all of that is just okay that's not that was just a little thing. Okay, so then I got uh, doing a lot of bending over. So then I went to Orange Dot Quilts and I'm going to give you more info from her. I don't know what I did with her card, but it's here somewhere, I promise. And I will, I mean, I will find everything and definitely make sure you guys see it all. But here's her bag. And um, I think she told me that on, oh, here it is. It's right here. Hello. Got it right here. Um, and the lady who ran the shop, her name is Dora. She was so, so very nice. Um, so that's the little postcard thing and then on the back um it says dora carey designer and quilter there's an email a phone a snail mail her website address and how to tag her on instagram which i will do um she's got quilts patterns and more available online at orange.quilts.etsy.com and I will put all of that in the description box for you. And hopefully she and I will work together on something where I can, um, you know, show you more of what she's got in her shop. That would be really good because I love how she put everything together. Now I asked her if she put things together like this on her website. And 
I think she said that she normally just sells like the patterns and stuff, but we're going to need to go on the Etsy and see exactly what's there because I haven't had a chance to do anything except actually just go to QuiltCon. So <laughs> I haven't been able to like look up everything and and all that but okay so here are and she with purchase she was giving out little um you know tape measures with her logo on it and so i got this quilt oh wait you know what there was something else here it is let me show you this one first so the first thing I found whenever I walked up to her shop was they had all of these little, and what are these, half yard? Yeah, so we've got a five, five half yard cuts with a pattern um, for $35. And here's the pattern that went with it. And it is called A Little Heat Wave. And it is a, the finished size quilt is 40 by 40. And it's for the difficulty, it says super easy. Hey, <laughs> but I just loved these fabrics. So let me um, take them out and show you. I just, you know, it's, it's interesting to me. Like I get drawn to the people who have the same likes as me usually. Um, and I was just talking to Elizabeth from um, Quilters Candy and we were discussing like the types of fabric that we like and how her, her like her, she's gravitated like this way and I'm like way over here. And I do have like a middle line that I will, that I go with and that's this, what I'm, what I'm showing you guys now. I love this. Um, but it was just interesting because we had that conversation because, you know, you'll tell people that you like this or you don't like that. And some people can like get really offend offended if you don't like what they like. And I'm like, well, not everybody likes the same thing. Um, but you guys look at this. And of course, you know, the, it's advertised as a baby quilt, but this is totally an event quilt. Sorry, the light is so bad. I'm trying to get closer, so, but Jelly Bean is... You know, he's he's basking in his Hollywood light now. We're not going to be able to get him out. Jelly bean. Let me see. What do you see whenever I do this? Is that too close? Okay, look. Look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? The little owls and stuff. Okay. So that's the first one. How do I fold it? Y'all know how I am. I gotta like fold everything pretty pretty before I can put it away. That's not it. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we've got this lovely pink with the little hashtags in it. It's all over, same as this. Oh, I see, just from watch, seeing how this one is folded, it's probably how that one goes. Let me do it. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> see that goes there that goes there fold what I got it okay here's the next one and this is if, if I'm not mistaken this is from Cora Dantini it looks like Cor Cory Dantini I always say yep it's hello world from Cory Dantini and I'll get a little bit closer if Jelly Bean will let me I love her artwork. Okay. That was number three. Here is number four. It is gray with pink stars on it and a little white dots. And this is a curated bundle, so it's not all Cory Dantini. That one is the only one that's Cory Dantini. The other ones, I'm not really sure. This one looks familiar. Ah, okay. So it's um, Maud Asbury for blend fabrics, and it's called Sweet Dreams. And here is the next print, or the last print, I should say. It's the fifth one. And it's little clouds and moons stars 
Okay. So I got that quilt and see, I don't know if I'll be able to put this back, put it back together, tie it up, <laughs> tie it up with a bow. I'm go totally going to try to put a bow in it. If I can do it. Jelly bean laid down. So he's oh, as soon as I said that, okay, I can't get it. It's too much pressure being on camera. It's too much, too much. I can't do it. <laughs> okay. So this other quilt, um, now you get a pattern which ease, with each one, but this is called only one. And I know what you're thinking that, oh my goodness, um, you know, it looks like it's difficult to do. It is very easy. It is very easy. Um, so this is what I'm going to make. And then she sold you the fabric to go with, right? So I have, um, I have two packs that are to make a small quilt, which is uh, approximately 46 by 51. This is the one, right? Oh, it doesn't say. And then I bought a large one, which is, you can either make it 69 by 69 if you want it square, or you can make it 57 by 80, uh, which is a twin. Okay, so I got, and I got one like that. So here's the fabric I got for the small. And basically it is like one continuous cut um, of panels. And that's how you wanna, you wanna use like a large scale. And she goes, I'm telling you, it's gonna look, it's gonna be gorgeous. I believe her, I saw her quilt and it's completely gorgeous. So I got this Halloween uh, print. And I'm going to try to open it up without it all coming out, but here's, I'm going to just flip it around. Okay, so where am I at on that one? Okay, so there's the little witch it says, Happy Halloween. And of course, it's not going to be perfect because I got Mr. JB. <laughs> and then there's like the little pumpkin man in the middle. And what does that say? Boo to you. <laughs> and this is Corey Dantini as well. Corey Dantini uh, designs for blend fabrics. And here's one with like a little kitty cat on it. Okay, so that's the panels. Those are the panels. Should like learn how to talk here. <laughs> okay. Learn how to speak. Okay. So that's the first one. And this is for the small quilt. And this one is also for the small quilt. And all I got was Corey Dantini. I just want to tell you guys, I love Corey Dantini. Um, this fabric is called Love is Spoken Here. And... Okay. That's the first panel. And that says, you are the song in my heart. And the middle one, let's see, does it have words on it too? Love is spoken here is what it says on the top. Make sure you're seeing it. And the third one, says the power of ideas. Make sure you're seeing it. Okay, so those are the three panels on that one. And basically what she does is she takes one of the panels 
because there are a few, you know, on this, because this is like three and a third yards or three and a half yards, something like that. Um, so she'll take one whole set of panels and she incorporates it in the back uh, on the backing and it's just gorgeous. The rest of it you like cut for like the thing and it's, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Okay, and then I have, um, I got one of the packages for the large quilt. And that one, um, that one is Garden Girls. And here it is all rolled up. You got, we got all of this. Okay, let's see. It's okay, guys. It's just the FedEx dude. Did the camera move? I'm so sorry, because Jelly Bean, like, lost his mind. I'm so sorry if the camera moved. It's just FedEx, guys. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I don't know why they insist on doing that. I guess because, I, well, I know why. It's just, the cats go nuts every time. Okay, so here's the first girl in the garden. And here's the second one. And the third one. So those are really cute. <laughs> um, I had to, I kept going back and going back and I was like, I gotta stop this. <laughs> but it's like, I just, I, I love this quilt design and I love the fabrics that she had. Um, she, yes, she had a lot of different fabrics and you know, but once I see Cory Dantini, it's over, it's done. That's all I could think about. Okay, so that is orange dot quilts, and I will give you that information down below. And then we have, I made a stop at Pineapple Fabrics, and you know they're owned by um, Keepsake Quilting as well. And so, I think I got two Carla packs. Yeah. So, I got two Carla packs. I got this one, which is um, has Eiffel Tower fabric in it. I'd never seen it anywhere before, so I just bought it instead of, you know, so I just have like this pack instead of um, going searching for the fabric. And then this one is Book Club by Carly Gledhill, I think. And it had all the little kitty cats on it and it has like on the back, it's got like a little unicorn and there's like a cactus and all this other kind of stuff. Look at little kitty cat again. I just thought it was adorable. So I got those two pineapple packs. Um, and then the, you get a pattern with each pack that you get. And I just got this friendship star quilt, which is going to end up being 35 and a half inches square. And this one is called Star in the Window Quilt, which is 34 by 42 finished. And of course, if you ever want, you know, like to make a quilt bigger, all you really need to do is find like a, like fabrics that coordinate with this, like colors or other prints or, you know, I could probably find something. <laughs> and you just add borders and, you know, and then you can make the quilt bigger. So, um you know, if you're looking for like bigger quilts, but these have like a really good base on them. I really, I really liked, especially this one. This one was my favorite. Um, and let's see, they did give me some, a little bit of paperwork that I could share. What does this say? Um, okay, so the next warehouse sale 
for pineapple fabrics and they are in Archdale, North Carolina, 505 Aztec Drive in Archdale, North Carolina, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, March 19th, 20th, and 21st. And I will give you guys um, the information for that if, in case you're in the area. They have really, really good sales whenever they do these warehouse sales. You can get some really good deals. Um, okay, what else did they tell me? Was there something in here I needed to do? Okay, they do have like all of these little, like some, this information and stuff. Um, I'll try to give you as much information as I possibly can. There is a limit to what I can type down below. Um, but that's, believe it or not, that's it. We're done. 45 minutes. Oh my goodness. 46 minutes. Ah, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> But that's everything. You've seen everything now that I bought at QuiltCon. And I will be um, trying to make up that blog post as fast as I can. I'm doing like some editing to make, um, you know, to make sure that the quilts are in the frame, like just by themselves. You just see the quilts and um, so a bit of editing. And then I'm going to get that post up so you can see those quilts. If you're not already subscribed to my blog, um, please go to theeventrenee.com. No www, just theeventrenee.com, and you can sign up for my VIP newsletter, and that's how you'll know when I have a new post. It will just send you an email and tell you that I have a new post. So um, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will entertain your comments and questions down below, and see you in the next one. Bye.